you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews back with yet another review. And uh, Imperial Scout time in the form of Prairie's Christmas Bomb. Um, first Prairie beer I'm going to review. Never had this one, but I've had a bunch of Prairie offerings before. Some hit, some miss. Some are good, some are bad. Um, the Prairie Bomb, which I've had before, I've liked. And this is basically that base beer with uh, Christmas spices added to it. So, uh, hopefully, it's a winner. Um, as far as what it says on the bottle, it says Prairie Artisan Ales Christmas Bomb Imperial Stout Brewed with Spices. And then uh, over here, brewed and bottled by Krebs Brewing, Krebs, Oklahoma. Made in, for people who care for Oklahoma love. And it's like a little comic strip on here with some dude crying and looking at a picture of his family. And it says, I made my family disappear. And then his face is like going crazy. Because Santo came down the chimney and his bag of tricks exploded his family and a bunch of joy. Um, and uh, distributed by our friends at Shelton Brothers. And then that's about it. There you go. Um, label wise, you know, one of the most over overused words in the American vernacular as of late is the word hipster. Okay. Um, everybody has different definitions of what it means. Um, and, uh, basically for most people, what they do is they say stuff is hipster because, um, they don't like something and then it's hipster because if they like it, no way it could be hipster, um, because they're not hipster. Anyway, this is super hipster label. This is like exactly what I expect to come out of a hipster's brain if they were looking to draw a comic. So... Me hating on stuff, which is typically what I love to do, um, it is, uh, yeah, not my favorite label. I want to like it, but it just, you can see the little comic strip there, I'll rotate it for you as you can see what's going on. Um, it just, it, it's trying to be too cool. You know, it should be a cool label, but it's just trying to. I mean, from the name Prairie, to the, calling it Prairie Artisan Ales, to the artwork, I expect the person who runs this brewery to like the Abbott brothers and, you know, be all about, you know what I mean? Organic, sustainable farming and, and, uh, and, uh, have a beard because people with beards are hipsters. So I must be one and, um, have a bunch of traditional tattoos and then just, anyway, I'm going to stop ranting on hipster crap anyway. Um, so yeah, label wise, I want to like it, but I can't because it's just too, it's trying too, too, too hard to be cool. So, let's hope the beer is better. Anyway, enough of my neurotic craziness. Let's see what this beer has to offer. Yeah. Let's see if she cut overflows. It's going to be close. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah, so that has a little bit of a head on it. Kind of threw that sucker in there without a care in the world. Um, yeah, uh, uniform bubbles from the bottom to top, super duper 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 creamy top to it. Um, looks like it's not going to stick around all that long, but you never know. These, um, Imperial Stouts, uh, can linger headwise for a bit, so I might be in for, uh, listen to me yammer on and try to force a nose out of this sucker. Color-wise, uh, it's dark. I mean, I can't even hold... If I hold it directly up to some light, I can't even glean any kind of color from that. So, my friends, that is an Imperial Stout. Uh, dark as could be, dark as my soul, beautiful head, everything about it looks delicious. The only thing that doesn't look delicious is the time I have to wait because the head doesn't want to go anywhere. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can try to pinch Nova's off this sucker. The head being that high. Ooh. There's Christmas spice in there, man. Holy crap. It smells exactly like a ginger, ginger snap with chilies. It's like, it's totally Christmas spice. You're all spice. I mean, gingerbread, all spice, cinnamon. And it smells like there's some chili heat to it. Yeah, that smells like Christmas. 
It smells like Christmas in a glass. Or what I want Christmas in a glass to smell like. Good God. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's fantastic. And I wish I could kind of tilt this glass to give you an idea what that head looks like. But that sucker is creamy as hell. I mean, you can see right there. Jesus, good God. Oh, I'm going to fight through this head and sip on this sucker because... It's too good not to wait. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the deal. First thing you need to know about me. I'm a sucker for a lot of things. Beer-wise, I'm a sucker for way more things than just beer stuff. But let's just... You know, this is supposed to be a review. So if I go on to... Reel off all the things I'm a sucker for. You'll be a nine-hour video. Anyway. The beer world. Sucker for a good Belgian. Wow. There's some heat. Chili heat. Peppered heat. Um, sucker for a good Belgian. Sucker for an aged English old ale. That's probably number one on my list. Um, I'm sucker for a brandy barrel aged ale. I don't see a lot of those. Love that. Uh, and I'm a sucker. I, I, I'm, and it's a new re revelation for me because it's not it's not a style that's been around for a long time. Or not a style I've been exposed to a ton of. I, I'm, I've am i come to realization I'm a sucker for heat. Not alcohol heat. Pepper heat. Chili heat in a beer. I'm a slut. I'm a pepper slut. Whether it be pepper or peppers. Either one. I'm a slut. I'm a, I'm a pepper slut. I'm a heat slut. So there you go. A beer can be okay to mediocre and if it's got some pepper heat in it i'm not saying this is okay or just mediocre i'm saying if there's some pepper heat going on in there you got me so if and if and when i become the emperor of the universe and i do a beer competition not if when i become emperor of the universe um and host host the beer competition just make a chili beer and then you'll win because i'm just i can't you know i just can't do it it's just i'm, I'm a I'm a filthy dime store whore when it comes to that, man. It's I feel ashamed almost. Dirty by it. Sullied by it. So, by the way, I don't know if you noticed. There's a bit of heat in there. Um, it's not super big. I mean, it's kind of the, the Imperial Stout of it keeps the heat in check, which is why I like it. That's why I usually see your chilies and your milk stout, stuff like that. It's the lactose sugar. kind of keeps in check keeps it in check so it doesn't build and burn it just kind of excites the tongue so yeah that's going for it um a little bit on the dry side not super um not not sweet i wish it was a little bit sweeter just to kind of balance out that dryness um now it feels nice but it's not imperial stout i mean well it's in the loosest sense of the term, it's an imperial stout, mouthfeel wise. A um, little bit of roasted malts. Yeah. I mean, those spices. Um, that little bit of spice heat there. It's the star of the show. And uh, it, it that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm a fan of it. You know, uh, Rating wise, I'd give it uh, 89. Um, it's just that lack of balance with the dryness and sweetness kind of throwing me off a little bit. I just want a little bit more viscous mouthfeel and a little bit um, more sweetness, kind of balance it out, and it would be in the low 90s. But, yeah, 89 overall. Value and availability. I mean, Prairie stuff does not really get, excuse me, any kind of decent distribution in my area. It's just kind of just blips and blops in my area. So availability, I'll give it like a two. And value, I would give it, I think, a five. Because I think I paid like $7 for this. You know, it's a little bit steep. But I wanted to give it a whirl. So there you go. It's okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Really nice beer. I enjoy it. Um, you know, all hipsterisms with the label aside. Uh, it's a nice beer. Um, but then again, like I said, I'm a, uh, a chili slut. So uh, you probably shouldn't... Um, Respect my opinion on any beers that have chilies in them. And I'll be like, oh, really? That swamp water has chilies in it? Yeah, that's an E5. So there you go. Um, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please 
leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can Facebook, Twitter, uh, Untapped, and Instagram. Massive beers in all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice chili beer um, right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>